So welcome once again. We're going to start with LACNIC's technical forum. This is a space for exchange discussion of the Latin America and Caribbean community on internet technologies and technical implementations. The program committee of the FTL is composed of Wesley Correa, Pablo Cuello, Jorge Villa from LACNIC's community and Carlos Martinez, Mariela Rocha, Guillermo Sicilio from LACNIC staff. I will now give the floor to Carlos Martinez, technology manager of LACNIC, who is a member of the FTL program committee. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you, Sandra. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us in another LACNIC event. It is a pleasure for us to be here in Merida. It's also a pleasure to be able to share with you a program that will be most interesting from the technical standpoint. I won't take too much time away from you. The idea is to tell you about what this forum is about. Now, technical, LACNIC's technical forum is the name we gave to the space dedicated during LACNIC's event to make presentations with technical content that allow us to share experiences and work that is done in the region and also outside the region in our community. These are the previous editions. We started back in 2018 in Panama. We continued in Punta Cana. Then we had the two years. We had two years where we had to go online and again we went to Cali to do the FDL in May last year. So what do we intend to do with the FDL? You know that LACNIG has a very close relation with LACNOG, that's the Latin American network operators, Latin America and Caribbean network operators, and that also they and they also have a technical time for in October. As a matter of fact, I invite you if you want to present some papers. Uh, we are going to call for a presentation of for presentations in uh, for October. That event is. Uh, has called for papers and uh, FDL too. But in order to complement uh, uh, LACNOC and to supplement it, not only do we have call for papers, but also guests and with uh, uh, presentations. And this is quite exciting about the FDL. It's what we call the new figures. Not necessarily do you have to be young, but new in the LACNIC community, as occurs in the uh, our work uh, uh, the research that Laura said uh, during his uh, her presentation, but we sometimes want to bring new faces for the technic the, that are working with the technical work in the community. The structure of the FTL, we try to do it is similar to an academic conference, but with a similar uh, workflow. We have a program committee with the names that Sandra gave. We have. Um, uh, Jorge, could you please, Jorge Villa from Cuba is the representative of LACNOC of the FDL appointed by the board. Then we have Wesley Correa and Juan Pablo Cuello from Brazil and Uruguay. I don't know whether they are here, but if you are, please say hi. Juan Pablo, where are you? Uh, and four people of the staff of LACNIC, myself, Guillermo, Mariela, and Ernesto, who's uh, there. So the work, as we want to appeal contents, um, we create a pool of evaluators that are not part of the committee, but uh, who somehow contribute with uh, knowledge in areas that we may not have. So. This is consistent with the size of this event. For LACNIC standards, this is quite large. It's not the largest, but it's among the largest that we've had in a long time. The FDL in 2023 uh, is one that received 50 intents uh, to present. So based uh, on the feedback from evaluators, we accepted 17. So here we have, for instance, the time available and the call for 2023 was quite competitive. So the work that was accepted, double presentations, all the work was interesting. So I invite you to continue to participate in FTL or LACNOC. So 
well, we are engineers, so we love numbers, and we had quite a few papers from Mexico, and uh, it makes sense because you are the locals, but uh, and uh, other countries in uh, the region, a very interesting distribution. I can't name you all, but I want to thank uh, the assessors and uh, with a good uh, representation of the countries, too. Really, their work is extremely important because it enables us not just to add uh, knowledge that we may lack, at, uh, 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 we may have it at LACNIC, but they give us a different uh, way of looking at things. What are we going to have today? A bit the classical topics, many security issues that is consistent with uh, the opening session this morning. We're going to talk about IPv6, routing, and also we are going to have five presentations on research papers that were produced under the project that Laura present mentioned in her previous presentation in collaboration with the universities that we uh, have implemented uh, uh, for two years. And there, there's going to be a presentation by one of uh, the mentors one of the women of IT women who completed her work and she will be sharing her, the results of her paper um, with us. So that was my presentation. I don't know whether you have any questions. If you do, please ask. And if not, I'm going to leave you with the first block of FTL that will be chaired by Mariela and Guillermo. Thank you, people. Thank you, Carlos. Good morning, everyone. I want to welcome all of you in remote uh, and in Zoom. We'll, the first presentation is of 